Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bogotter. I wanted to do a quick video talking about the Guild Wars 2 pre-purchase for the Heart of Thorns expansion. I put out a couple videos yesterday, one announcing like the various packages and the other one talking about the community feedback uh, about the whole pre-purchase uh, issues and stuff like that. Well, ArenaNet has come out with a community address and they changed some of the things that go on with the pre-purchase and uh, I wanted to kind of go over what those were. I didn't want to do a huge like debate topic about whether or not these changes satisfy people. I know some people it's going to be a, a great olive branch trying to bring them back into the fold and I know other people are going to still be unhappy. I don't want to get throw all those topics back in there but I wanted to kind of explain what all the changes were that the arena net is offering and also I just wanted to show some in-game images of uh, some of the, the pre-order bonuses that you get, the pre-purchase bonuses that you get because I said once I had uh, information about you know what are the cosmetic items and stuff like that I, I would show off what it, what it looks like. So uh, with Without further ado, let's go over what ArenaNet had to say. The first thing that ArenaNet addressed is uh, veteran player appreciation, which basically is in response to feedback that new players are getting an extremely good deal while having the core game uh, lumped in with the expansion during the pre-purchase. And what about veteran players? What about players that have been playing the game since launch? What do they get as a kind of like a, a, a bonus of uh, some sort? So what they did is they said anybody who has a registered Guild Wars 2 account prior to January 23rd, 2015 and who pre-purchase an upgrade to the Heart of Thorns expansion, they're going to add one additional character slot to your account. Now, they haven't ex mentioned exactly when that's going to occur. They're still probably working on how they're going to uh, deliver that on the back end. But it's a, it's a nice little nod to players, especially with the Revenant class coming in. Um, and uh, it's my impression that if you purchase the Deluxe or Ultimate Editions, which have a character slot included in them, then, then this is on top of those character slots. So you will actually be getting two character slots at some point if you have uh, the game prior to January 23rd and if you upgrade to the Deluxe or Ultimate Editions. So that's pretty cool. ArenaNet also addressed uh, players' concerns over their change to the FAQ. Prior to uh, the pre-purchase announcement, it kind of urged players to buy the Guild Wars 2 core game because they're going to need it for the expansion. And then they announced that the expansion and the core game came bundled together and they quickly changed the FAQ to kind of match that. And so I'm not paraphrasing. I will say exactly what they wrote here. They said, we wanted you to know that access to much of the content in Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns requires access to Guild Wars 2. Some read the FAQ as an urging of players to buy the core game now in preparation for the expansion release. This was not our intention, and amendments made to the FAQ following the announcement were a good faith attempt to clarify this misrepresentation. As such, we're offering a comprehensive refund policy. So, for all players who purchased the Guild Wars 2 core game from our website and registered it between January 23rd, 2015 and June 16th, 2015, in anticipation of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, we will automatically refund what you paid for the core game should you decide to pre-purchase Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns from our website or in-game store anytime through July 31st, 2015. Okay, so if you bought the game as one of their $10 sales sometime this year or just sometime, you know, uh, over the last uh, six months or so and you pre-purchased before the end of July, uh, they're going to uh, refund you uh, the, the purchase price of the, uh, the original game, which is awesome. If you take advantage of this refund and pre-purchase Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, all of your current account progress will be kept intact. That was another concern. A lot of people thought, like, sure, you'll offer me a refund, but then I have to close my account. So they're going to provide further details on when refunds will be processed in the next couple of weeks as they set up this process. In addition, if you purchased the core Guild Wars 2 game and registered it between January 23rd and June 16th and you no longer want to play Guild Wars 2 at all, they will refund your core game purchase price and close your account provided you make the request by July 31st, 2015. And you have to contact customer support to do so. Prior to this, people were saying, oh yeah, sure, you'll you'll offer me a refund, but it's only going to be a, uh, only if I purchase it within 30 days. Well, now they're going to honor refunds all the way back to January 23rd. So if you think there was something shady going on and you don't like what's been going on with this pre-purchase or you're just not enjoying the game well there you go you can get your money back the one little hitch here with uh, offering refunds is if you purchase the core game from a third party they can't offer you a refund however if you did re uh, register the core game between those dates and upgrade it by pre-purchasing guild wars 2 heart of thorns uh, before the launch, they're going to add an additional character slot to your Guild Wars 2 account. So you get the, the bonus of the veteran players if you uh, uh, if you actually 
uh, ordered it through a third party instead. So the process for delivering your additional character slot will be the same as described above. If you would like a refund, you will need to contact the third party instead. Okay, so that's what they're offering. They did also mention that, you know, that just for clarity's sake, that any future paid expansions are going to include the prior expansions and the core game as one big bundle. So they kind of uh, laid that out for the future, that that's how they're going to be, you know, running their business model going forward. So that's the response from ArenaNet. I hope it goes some way to assuage some people's fears and restore some faith in the company if you had any problems with the pre-purchase. Um, it's not going to solve all the issues. I'm sure there's still some people that are going to be unhappy, but at least it proves that ArenaNet is listening to the community and is willing to respond and try to make things better. If this uh, whole uh, response has convinced you to now pre-purchase Guild Wars 2 expansion, I urge you to use one of the referral links from one of the content creators in Guild Wars 2, the streamers, the YouTubers, etc. I have put a link in the description to uh, many of the content creator uh, referral links that I know of. If I've missed someone, I apologize. Please let me know and I will add it. But uh, just use one of those links. You click it, you pre-purchase the expansion, and it doesn't cost anything extra to you, and it actually directly supports uh, us uh, content creators. So my referral link is down there, and plus many of the other uh, community members. And so if, if you wouldn't mind sharing that with your friends and guildmates and family members as they purchase it, we would definitely appreciate that. Now, I just want to show you briefly in-game items that uh, come with the pre-purchase expansion. I said that once I had some uh, screenshots and different things, uh, I would show you that now they actually have these items in game and you in, in fact many of the items you will get immediately upon pre-purchasing so you can run around with this uh this stuff right now so let's take a look at what they are in game now the standard edition of the game just comes with the heart of thorns expansion and the core game if you uh if you're a veteran player like i described earlier you'll get an extra character slot um, if you upgrade to the Deluxe Edition, which is $75 roughly US, you get an additional character slot um, that's on top of the Veteran one. You also get uh, the Miniature Ritlock Revenant Mini Pet. I don't know why I stuttered there a little bit. Um, so this is what this guy looks like, the Mini Revenant Ritlock Brimstone. That's, that's, a, that's a mouthful. That is. And you can see his armor matches my armor set like perfectly here. Um, yeah, so yeah, you get the, you know, the class. This is like the poster boy for the Guild Wars 2 expansion is the is the Ritlock Revenant. So you get this mini pet immediately you could run around with. There's also a finisher um, that you can unlock for PvP. And it's a Revenant finisher. You notice a, a theme here. This is what the Revenant finisher looks like. Okay, so he walks over. It's like, hey, that's my spear. And then he, then he pieces out in a smoky exit strategy. Let's play that one more time there. So he throws the spear, like, embeds. It looks like in the crotch of your enemy, which is always interesting. <laughs> and then Ritlock comes over and, and, and takes it out. The Deluxe Edition also comes with uh, two other items that you're not going to be able to see until the Heart of Thorns expansion comes out. One of them is a glider skin, so when you're flying around the jungle, you have this cool green glowy effect to your glider. And you also get to choose one of three Morgemoth's Bane Guild Hall decorations to throw in your Guild Hall. And you get the choice of a Charcopter, a Living Vine Wall, or a Severed Wyvern Head. And I believe if you coordinate different ones with your guild mates, you'll be able to set up all of these within your guild hall. Now, the Ultimate Package includes everything that I mentioned in the Deluxe, but it also comes with 4,000 gems to purchase things in the gem store. Uh, that's a 50% discount on the gems, which they've never offered a discount on gems before. So if you are someone who likes to buy things from the gem store, this is probably a pretty good deal for you. Well, that's going to wrap things up, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. Don't forget to use the referral link. I'd really appreciate it when you pre-purchase the Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns expansion. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.